Oh, Jesus. Sweet, magnificent angel Jesus. I'm coming. I'm coming, Jesus. I'm looking at you right now. Please look at me, angel Jesus. I'm going to sit right there beside my apple. No! No! Yeah. That's really good, actually, so... David is Dead is a series that is a postmodern look at death and life, and it's hopefully a distraction from your work day just long enough to think, I'm going to die, and um, it'll be too late to wink and smile afterwards. I'm going to sit by your side, Papa. All right, cut. Let's cut right there. I have an idea. So what if, since he's thinking about dying, uh, we did a cross to symbolize Jesus because he's, like I said, thinking about dying and he's going to see Jesus and he's going to see his papa. I mean, I've, I've seen it. I guess he dies at the end. I've, I've seen enough to know. It's just boy jokes. It's not really, not really funny to me. This it's not that it's a bad song, it's that it's not a good song. And it doesn't work. Anyway, part of the reason I took the David is Dead job because I kind of wanted to promote my own band. And uh, plus, I mean, not to mention that I'm a fan and all. So, uh, I'm sorry, is that, supposed to, is that supposed to be like that? It seems a little. Oh, it's good? Okay. Um, yeah, so part of the reason I took the job is because A, I'm a huge fan, and B, I'm trying to like promote my own band. So. Do you know Happy Birthday? Happy Birthday to you. That's my birthday. That's my favorite song. I like his tattoos a lot. I don't really understand them, but I like his tattoos a lot. That's attractive. Hang on a second. All right, I'm good. Whatever. Give me two seconds. Um, actually, just don't say anything and eat the cake and choke on it and die. That's like what? He he dies. So let's try to let's try to cut out the extra characters and let's not have a B story and let's not have conflict and let's take David and put him on his deathbed and see what it looks like to die. Hey, it's horny, So stuff some cake in his. Face. It's not what I wrote. Stories from my pat off. It's basically the same thing. It's if he not. shows it with his face. It's the same idea. Think about it. I don't think I'm not do it. Okay. Your cure is just, it's too long. It's too long right now. For it's us. what they asked for. No, I just, it looks like pubic hair. I mean, what do you say to a guy like David, you know, like someone you really look up to and respect who, like, is funny and a great actor? I mean, what do you tell him, you know? Do you tell him, like, like, hey, you make a difference in people's lives, you know, like, something like that, like, you know, maybe I won't tell him that. No, I'm not going to tell him. That would be weird. I'm not going to tell him that. Craft services. What? Craft services are food. Yeah, craft services. Warheads and granola bars. And his coffee's old. Like, really, really old. I just made that, like, a half hour ago. It should still be good. Oh, I can make another pot. I, I don't mind. No, at all. That's cool. So you, like, uh... Yeah, I'm Ryan. I, I uh... I do wrote music. the birthday song. Yeah. Um... No, I, I wrote the theme song for the show. Oh, cool. Uh, well, I, anyway, it's a, it's an honor to work with you. I've been a fan for a while. Oh, cool, man. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Old. Everything is old. So, did you, uh, did you see the, uh, the makeup girl? Gia? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she's gonna go out with me. Really? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Just another day, Brian. Just another day. Acting is a sweet, sweet peach. Oh, I'm, I'm a fan. Well, you know, it, it makes a difference in people's lives. What? Working with David is not easy, but it is also not fun. in life is the band. So you're like a lead singer? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I bet you get a lot of girls chasing after you. Uh, well, not like you would think. I mean, nothing compared to like David or something like that, you know, like, he's like the rock star of acting. Mm. Dang, I guess. I know, David's great. He's, he's okay. It's, it's great to work with him. I guess I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah, she's uh, she's gonna go on a date with me. Pretty awesome. I have that effect on the, um, I don't want to say little people because they're not little people, but they're like um, less thinners. That's, 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 that's something, that's a joke that we make. He's uh, nice, he's, uh, he's a good act. Um, he's a creep. Hey, do you hear the crickets? Yeah, I opened a window because it was getting so hot in here. Yeah. You're so pretty. You look like you look pretty. Mm hmm You know, like, at the end of the joke when it, like, doesn't go that well and, like, uh, they start playing the crickets? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a joke? Oh. I'm, the, I'm not a comedian. Are you serious? I know. No. God, that sounds awful. Like, did he get arrested? Really? That was the worst thing that's ever happened. I mean, do I give off signals? Am I giving off some kind of vibe that... Seriously? Is this what you want? No! Like... And I was just, like, at the, at the end of the third one, I was like... Like, and how long of a span of time is this? Uh, probably like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> ha! The origin of the text message joke is actually funny because I don't have David's number. And we have a PA send him that text message from a number that's marked my number uh, because he had my number and I had to uh, change it. I guess, like, the motivation behind David is Dead is more like, uh, we like the beauty in life and death, because um, it's like art and it's, it's beautiful. If you think about it, like, death is like a really pretty like, lady, so I guess in the end, um, so like, I guess like in the end, um, what I'm, like, the world is kind of like, the world is kind of like, um, <coughs> the, wor the world is kind of like, um, <coughs> a pretty lady. And, Oh, ah, ah. Oh. <laughs>